Hi there, my name's Roy Dunn, I'm a professional photographer and I'm at Cognosis to demonstrate the construction of the Stop Shot Water Drop Kit. This kit enables you to make images such as the ones you see behind me, of classic beautiful physics of water droplets falling into a liquid substrate, water drop collisions producing the lovely umbrellas and abstract shapes. And the heart of this kit, which was the first one to market in order to be able for any photographer to produce these styles of images, the heart of that system is the stop shot controller. And this uh, unit is, is incredibly flexible. It can be used for way more than water drop images. But in setting up for the water drop kit, the controller controls the number of drops we can release, the volume of those drops, and the very precise timing between drops. If we're going to be creating droplet collisions, those collisions occur with very, very um, tight timing. Very precise timing is required. And this controller enables you to do that. But first of all, let's go through the system components. We have the controller, we have this L bracket which mounts onto a very standard tripod. This tripod here is probably the cheapest tripod of its type that you can find. It really doesn't need to be that exotic. And then we have a number of other components that we'll walk through as we build them. But first of all, I'm going to take the quick release plate from this tripod and attach it to the L plate here. We have a choice of three different quarter 20 holes to which we can thread the standard tripod mount into. So here we see this is the L bracket and it mounts into the tripod's not so very quick release plate mechanism as shown. Next we will attach the Marriott siphon to the electrical valve. This is actually the droplet dispenser. This has its own power supply. It connects to the stop shot and the stop shot controls this valve that dispenses drops, as I said, any number that you wish at any interval you, could, uh, you describe. And so we simply screw this reservoir onto the top, like so. And then we need to mount this reservoir to the L bracket. And we do that by means of this U-bolt all of this, all of these kit components are supplied, they're standard, and we mount this to the L bracket. That's shown. You can probably see me put, putting the thread through those already pre-drilled holes. One thing to note about the reservoir, the, uh, the Marriott Siphon Reservoir, is that it is PVC plastic, but it is grade 80, and so you have no fear of crushing it with the U-clamp. You can tighten these down pretty hard to get good purchase on the siphon itself. Now I'm going to rotate this a little so we have the valve pointing the other way. Okay, once we have the Marriott siphon mounted with the stopper in, one of the benefits of the Marriott siphon, and this is unique to the Stop Shot Water Drop Kit, is that with this um, tube in here, it doesn't matter what the volume of uh, liquid is in the reservoir, the size and volume of the droplet will be the same. This is, um, this is normalizing the pressure uh, making the pressure equivalent regardless of the volume inside the siphon. And that's a very important aspect for those of us who have done droplet photography in the past. The next thing we need to attach is the mini sensor. And this is an infrared optocoupler. And it, very simply, we see these two arms here. A infra, tiny infrared beam is actually shining when it's energized, shines across the, the mouth of these arms and when a droplet breaks that beam it sends an event to the stop shot to start a timing interval as to when to fire the flash. We need to mount this to the mounting rod which is very straightforward. It has a nice knurled bolt at the end and when you mount this you mount it into the threaded end <laughs> 
and amazingly, the bolt goes in. And then we take this mini sensor and mount it into the L bracket and there is a beautiful little um, knurled knob here to hold this as and where at the correct height. We can adjust this and rotate it around. A point to note is this sensor is the beginning of um, activity for timing. And I'll come to that in a minute, but really, essentially, we can, we can set off timing just by putting our finger through the broken, through the beam here, as you'll see as we go further. Now, one of the real benefits of buying the Stop Shot water drop kit is that it has some presets already loaded and we are able to configure the system to get you up and running and making drop shot droplet photog photographs really, really quickly. And the way we do that is there is a configuration in here if we want to do droplet collisions, where if we have the L bracket mounted such that the mouth of the valve is at 24 inches above the substrate, and for now we're going to uh, assume that the tabletop is the level of the water substrate, and then we need to have our mini sensor at 19 inches. And I see right now it's at about 20 and a little bit, so I need to lower it a bit. So it's very easy to adjust. Take it down a little. Hopefully I nailed that pretty closely. No, I didn't. Let's have another go. Probably another half an inch or more. And that's it. Bang on 19 inches. So now with this physical setup here, I am ready to make droplet collisions with a preloaded configuration in the actual stop shot, stop shot system. We add power, and now I need to connect up the various aspects of my system, because what we're going to do is have, uh, for droplet collisions, we're going to dispense two droplets. The first one will come down, hit the water substrate, bounce up in a column, and then the second droplet will be released and produce a collision, and we're going to fire the flash at the very instant of that collision and create one of the effects that you see behind me here, these beautiful umbrellas. And, and with this configuration, it's very, very easy to do so. However, I need to connect it up. So what do we need to do? First of all, I'll take this valve. I manually start the system by firing the stop shot to release two drops of water. So that comes out of the trigger one output here. I also need to tell the stop shot when that water has been released and when it drops through this sensor. So we connect this mini sensor into the sensor input of the stop shot such that when um, a water drop falls through that gap it knows that it is, it is exactly 19 inches above the substrate. And so there is a, a number dialed in of, I guess, about a quarter of a second or a little more, where a quarter of a second after that droplet falling through here, the flash will fire. So we need to connect the flash. And again, we get the standard RCA cable that comes from the trigger two output. This is going to drive the flash. It goes into the flash interface cable, and this is an interface cable that goes from an RCA connector through to a very standard flash PC socket. Here where you're using a Chinese manual flash, a Yongnao YN560. This can be any flash, uh, speed light, studio flash, whatever you like um, that has manual capability. You turn the power down to get a fast duration flash and you hook this PC connector into the PC socket of the flash. If your flash doesn't happen to have a flash PC socket, you can um, purchase from, uh, from Cognosys a flash hot shoe, which you can plug the PC socket into and this will drive the flash through the flash's hot shoe. So basically any flash can be used in this situation. So now we've got it set up. We don't have any liquid in here, but what we can do is demonstrate the process. If I click the release button, you'll hear the two clicks. That's two droplets being dispensed. Now, if I do that again, we can pretend that my finger is a water droplet. So if I go click, click, bang, and we need to turn the flash on. And so <laughs> the flash doesn't fire very well unless it's powered up. 
So now let's try. So we're going to dispense. Let's assume the water drop flows through there. I hope you get the idea. We'll show in a subsequent video actual system working with liquid in it. But for now, if we click the button, we get two drops. The droplets fall through here and the flash fires about a quarter of a second. And timing wise, that just means the two droplets have fallen down, hit the substrate, bounced and produced a situation such as we see behind me. Hope that's helped you with the preparation of setting up the water drop kit. As you can see, it only takes a few minutes to set up and we're ready to go and have some fun with photography. Thanks for watching.